Well, good morning everyone. Today is the big day. We're drying off. So, that effectively means the cows are going on holiday. But, where are the cows? I thought Dad might have them here by now. A little bit late. Should be here soon, hopefully. But, I've got my box of goodies over here. So we've got the dry cow, because we are dry cowing again this year. And this is the stuff I'm using, it's called dry clocks. There's two options I think, and this is the one that's just a little bit cheaper. Uh, and I did use it last year, and it worked pretty well. But what I've done is I have gone onto Minder, and I have selected all the cows with their last herd test somatic cell count. Everything above 150 or 150,000, so these are the cows here, there is, oh, it doesn't say the total, but it says total animals there, there's 60, and then I also did select a couple of the two year olds, which I was advised to do, uh, that is below one, or that's above 120, like this one, so 191, hers was 126, I'm going to dry cow her too, that's what I was advised. Plus any cow that's had mastitis, regardless of what her sow can is, she's going to get done as well. And just put those tubes in a bit of sort of warm water to to sort of soften them up a little bit, easier to put in. That's what we did last year, Dad said, so do it again this year, it worked all right. And I have gone through two days ago and pre-marked all the cows that were on that list. So something like this, I just gave them a spray of orange, so those two need doing. Um, that one there, it's actually faded more than I thought, but I should be able to see them pretty pretty clear. Cups are all on, I'm just seeing how many cows are to do in the first row, there's only two there. Two in that row and one, two, three, three in that row. There's uh, more in the second herd, there wasn't many in the first one. Because they're sort of all younger cows, they sort of tend to have a lower sow count. But what I'm going to do is Dad's just going to change the cups and I'm just going to go through and dry cow them. I've got my head torch on, just so I can see the, the teat ends a bit better. One down. Come on, Billy Goodies. There's only two more rows to go. Well, three actually. This one, what's in the yard and the other side. But yeah, it's going pretty well. These uh, younger cows are a bit harder to do. Their udders aren't quite so big and their teats are just a little bit smaller. So it's harder to find that, that teat in. But getting there. Getting there, it'll become easier with this next herd. First third done, so I'd like to say that it was halfway, but it wasn't really because there's probably only one third of the cows that needed doing in here. But, it's only, uh, what have we got, 11 more rows to go till we're finished. Well, it's a bit colder this morning, or a little bit cooler, and there is a heavy fog. Look at that, big yellow's trying to come up. Second herd's just coming in. Also need to draft some cull cows out of here. There's another six or seven. And we'll just draft them into this pen they're going tomorrow, and we'll just leave them in that paddock because there's a bit of grass in there for them. But it's beautiful this morning. A nice hot day again, unfortunately. Like that one over there. I actually need to send a photo to the stock agent or the meat works buyer because she's got no tail. 
and you're not allowed to dock cow's tails anymore but she hasn't been docked she was just never born with one so hopefully they'll accept her otherwise i got to get a vet certificate for her it's a beautiful morning it's actually the second day of duck shooting so there's a heap of duck shooters down at the lake down there haven't heard any shots as of yet though and you can just see among a tout tree poking up through the clouds over there right, come on girlies there you go I also didn't give these cows much to eat yesterday, they went into their morning break and that's all they had, I just left them there for the day. So they are a bit hungry but that's good because that's what you want and they aren't coming in with much milk. Not that they were really anyway but, uh, but they're looking good, you don't want them producing heaps when you dry them off. Looks like a big udder but not really, it's not that full. It's good, oh there's a few dry cows in here, one, two. Three, four, oh, just four, not too bad. Then on the other side, one, two, three. This paint though, it's pretty bad. Like, I suppose I probably shouldn't have used orange, but it's only two days ago and you can hardly even see it now. One in each row. There's a Cullen here too, 105. One with the horns down there. One here nice and easy. This cow's part Ishire. So she's a little bit bigger than a Jersey. I know, she might be half and half. Or a quarter ish eye. She's uh, empty, that's the reason she's off. But I sent our buyer just a photo of her tail and he said get a vet to okay at first, so uh, it is what it is. Although I did ask Martha when she was pregnancy scanning, I showed her and I said, What do you think about it going to the works? And she thought it was fine, so I might give my ring and tell him because it sort of has been okay. Um, but it, whether it needs a certificate to say that it's fit or I don't know. Not sure, but the truck's coming tomorrow, so I don't really want to leave it behind. Here comes Big Yellow. Did hear a few shots down there before too, but pretty heavy, heavy fog, which is good because it means that there's a heavy dew that comes with it, so sort of keeps things green. Well, check it out guys, this is the last row to be milked for the season. Almost there. This uh, dry cow is going real good now too, now that it's daylight. You can see way easier and these cows are easier than those younger ones. And so there's a few coming at the end, a few to draft out, but other than that, it should be done pretty soon. Just had to touch up her paint for tomorrow, but I was just gonna, uh, well, I grabbed this, I was just gonna show you what it did look like two days ago. So, yeah, I don't know. Probably should have used a heavier colour rather than orange on a sort of orange cap. <laughs>
Might have rung these coals here up a bucket of maize. You can sort of eat that. There is a little bit of grass in there, but there's not heaps. Right, so that's done. That wraps up the 21 22 season. So, yeah, a little bit early. I'm going to sleep in now. Yeah, we're I'm both going to sleep, sleep in. Until five o'clock. But I think we're going to end up being about, uh, what, 4% behind. Um, compared to last year, which isn't too bad, like pretty happy with that, considering how the yeah, how yeah. it's gone after Christmas, really. It's been pretty hard. Yeah, it has been pretty hard. So we've we've managed to get this well this far through. So doing doing all right. Yeah. Hopefully next season's better. But I'm gonna give these girls the rest of this paddock which they had yesterday. You can see they've uh, they've certainly decked it, and it almost needs replanting. Not because of them, but because yeah, it's pretty scarce in places now. So I wind this fence up for them, and then you've seen I put a bale on the tractor, um, or you would have seen a bale on the tractor before. So I'll probably feed them half a hay bale, just a little bit of roughage, because I need to feed the heifers anyway, and they'll get the other half. So it's more just patches like, like in here. See, nothing's really growing, so you know it's a hard one. What do you do? Do you, do you re-drill it? It's at, it's at a cost. Um, it does flood through here, so so it does get pretty wet. But you know, there's only little swords of grass like there and there, but there's a big area with nothing in it. And then you come back to where the cows have been, and it's really easy to see. Like there's not much growing in patches like this. You know, it's all just dirt over here so there's no grass gonna grow through here i don't know it's a bit of a hard one i probably if i had a spinner uh like a, like that could go behind the motorbike i thought maybe i should have just spun some in front of the cows so then they'll come in and sort of trample it into the ground and then it'll just sit there till it rains but i don't know it's a bit of a hard one whether i just do that now anyway and hopefully some of it will sort of germinate because these paddocks are really good because they sort of hang on a little bit more in the summer, but yeah, they're just getting a little bit bare, so so do need to make a little bit of a plan around it. Oh, all the cows are coming running. Probably think it's going to be loose and they're going to be bitterly disappointed when they know it's, it's old silage. They'll still eat it though. It'll just take them a while to, to get into it. Getting out the gate might be a bit, a bit hard though. Get in the paddock. There you go. Not too bad. I'm going to feed the heifers while I'm at it. Still got one pile just there of old hedge is that we pulled out that I need to clean up, which hopefully do this next coming week maybe. But here's the heifers over here, so they got a bit of tucker, but this has been saved for probably uh, well over a month. A bit of bristle grass for them to chew on. A little bit of clover in here. But oh, they're happy. We'll come to say hello. But they're looking real good. We'll go and have a look around them another in another video. Because there's something I want to try with them this year. I've almost convinced them to let me teat seal the heifers in. And teat sealing is just, uh, it's like a tube like that, exact same thing. You just squeeze it into the teat and it sort of blocks the teat up so no bugs and bacteria can get in there over the winter time. I've never used it before so I don't know too much about it. But I know a lot of guys down south and even around here, some people do their whole herds like that, which would be awesome. Uh, it works well through the winter or when they're dry because it would massively reduce mastitis, I, I would imagine, or, or I would think. But like I said, I've never used it, so I don't know too much. Uh, but I'll talk about that in another video. But, oh, so relieved. So, don't have to get up in the morning. Well, I don't have to get up at 5.30 anyway. Well, this morning it was actually quarter to five. So, sleeping's time. So usually we try and dry the cows off at the end of May. Today is the 7th or 8th. And that means that we're going to go from a dry period of about 7 weeks 
Now we're going to have one of about 10, so it's not bad, it's not bad. We do, um, like I said before, we're 4% behind in production, so that's about 4,000 solids. Uh, in a year like this, it's probably close to 40 grand, so it does have its negatives, but it is what it is, and the weather definitely dictates what we do. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys, and apart from that, see you next time. And if you are drying off, good luck, hope it goes well for you.